Hi everyone, I'm Leah of CJ Drill and welcome to my office. Now, I'll tell you it's a tiny space, but you would never know it. And why? Well, it's because I've created two work areas out of a table that I found in the garage. I'm repurposing it, cut it down the middle, I created not one, just one work area, but I created two work areas. And I'm going to show you how to do the same. Okay, so you're going to need a circular saw, a drill, a spade bit, some people call it a paddle bit, a drill bit for your pilot hole, structural screws. These structural screws are going to be used to attach the cleat to the wall. You're going to need cabinet screws. The cabinet screws are to attach the table to the cleat. You're going to need a level, a marking utensil. You don't have to have a stud finder, but I have to tell you, they're very convenient tape measure, and wood for your cleat. Now it comes time to prepare the surface for painting and priming. I'm going to put on a primer first, but before I do that, I have to sand. What you want to do is you want to use a fine grid sandpaper. And what I want to do, I just want to scuff this up a little bit, take some of the sheen off of it so that the primer will adhere a little bit better. So I'm going to start giving the legs a light sanding, and then I'm going to move up to the uh, top of the table to the desk surface itself. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to lay the table against the wall. You want your legs solidly on the floor. Sometimes floors aren't level because of the material that's used. It might be a stone floor. So allow the table itself to find level. So I'm talking about uh, the back side of the table. Now, where does it matter where level is? It's going to matter right here from the edge of your table to the back wall. Because you don't, want your, you don't want your table tipping forward and you don't want your table tipping in. So, we have the table where we want it. Now I'm just gonna strike a line across. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the underside of the table. I'm gonna strike a line with a pencil and I'm gonna start in that corner because it's gonna tell me where I need to put my cleat. So I'm gonna strike down and now I'm just gonna go across. Okay, so we've got our reference lines now, we can just remove the table. Just remember that this reference line here is the top of the table. This reference line here is the top of the cleat. So now we need to mark where the studs are because we've got to attach that cleat to the wall. And I want to repeat the process all the way down to the other end. Now it's time to mark our cleat. This is our cleat here. And I'm going to lay it against the wall. Now remember that this bottom line, that's our reference line. We know that we want our cleat to rest level with it. And this also is a reference line. That tells us that's where the table ends. So we want our cleat to be 
situate it just as I'm showing you. You'll want it to go past that corner, otherwise you're not going to be able to slide the table on top. And you want your cleat to be level with the line. So I've got my cleat in place, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the studs markings from the wall to the cleat. So we'll know where we need to draw, drill our pilot holes. So I'm just going to mark it and you continue that all the way down. So you want to drill pilot holes. Okay, so I've made my pilot hole here. This is my cleat. This is my pilot hole. Um, it's going to prevent the wood from splitting when I use my my structural screw. So I'm going to now uh, put it on center there with the stud. That's, that's where my stud is. And this is the bottom reference line. So I'm going to move that cleat up there. And so now we know we're in the perfect place. Um, I'm not going to screw it in all the way because I need to be able to pivot it. That's perfect. Now we're going to put the table on top of the cleat. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now the table's in place. Now we've got to attach the table to the cleat. Okay, so I want to make certain that it's level from front to back so it's not, you know, it's not tipping in and it's not tipping down. And so the level is perfect. Now I'm going to put in three screws into the top of the table attaching it to the cleat, but you know, I want it to be appealing to the eye. So just make certain that your screws are spaced evenly. So, okay, so I've got my reference line. That's where I'm going to make my first uh, hole. And what I have here is I have a piece of wood and it represents the cleat beneath. And why I'm using it is it's going to let me know, it's going to act as a guide. It's going to let me know if I'm coming out too far. You know, what good is screwing a hole if you're going to miss the cleat. So just use this as a guide. Find a piece of scrap that's the same size as the cleat. Then you're going to re want to repeat the process on the other two remaining marks. Next thing we want to do is we want to, we want to drill pilot holes for those cabinet screws. Because we don't want to, we want to make sure that we don't split the, you know, we don't want to split the cleat. So I've got my I've got my cabinet screw here and I've got a washer on it. I'm going to insert that. And now I'm going to just drill the uh, cabinet screw into the cleat. That's it. And just make certain that you repeat the process with the other holes. So I've cut a couple of dowels to cover the screw heads and so you just want to insert it like so. That's it. And folks, that's it. That's all it takes. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.